when you look at that structure, I want to make this. So this is coming from something. And we just talked about making the alpha position nucleophilic. So any place we have an alpha position with more than one carbon is probably a prime subject for being a new bond being made. Right, so I would make the argument that bond is highly likely to be formed. Right? If I broke that bond, what am I starting with? Well, on my it's obviously cyclopentanone and and we're making that bond. What are we saying? That carbon becomes negative. negative the nucleophile, which means the other species needs to be needs to be the electrophile. Where's the electrophilic site in that piece that I've drawn? What's that? Ooh, interesting. I didn't actually see that. You're referencing now that blue site. And that's an interesting choice of words they use. You use the beta site, right? Why would you use that word choice? We could do this as a conjugate addition, which admittedly I did not even see. That's totally my bad. If I can get that first site to be nucleophilic, I now have a decent electrophile at the beta position to that carbonyl through an alpha-beta unsaturated carbonyl. And I can do a Michael addition, whoop de doo the name. And there we go. It says enamine synthesis. All we're saying with the enamine is that I convert that structure into the enamine before I react. So we could swap it out and do the nitrogen, which would be that positively charged nitrogen. Nitrogen doesn't want to be positive, so what happens to that? the double bond appears to shift locations and we end up with the enamine. The enamine is a better nucleophile or a, a worse nucleophile technically so that we get 1,4 addition as opposed to a mix of the 1,2 and the 1,4 because the, the enol form gets you 1,2 and 1,4 addition. The enamine gets you only the 1,4 addition. Everybody see that? The enol does 1,2 and 1,4. It's dead in the middle between both uh, the Grignard activity and the Gilman activity. So it does both 1,2 and 1,4. If I only want 1,4, I need a different nucleophile. That different nucleophile can be the enamine, the enamine will give exclusively the 1,4. Right? And that has to do with the lower electronegativity of the nitrogen uh, setting up a, a better negative charge, right? or a less negative negative charge. Okay. Were there other positions that could have been made? Couldn't that have been the bond formed? And now I'm looking at this species being the negative, the nucleophile. Okay. If I went through and did that, the other piece, whoops, I start drawing a cyclohexane.
problem there because I'd get the wrong thing. Okay, because I'd be getting a direct addition at that carbonyl. That purple carbon is how many atoms away from the carbonyl? One, two, or alpha, beta. Could still do the alpha, beta addition. Okay, getting that one, four addition. I still have an enol. The enol becomes problematic. Okay, I get both the one, two, and the one, four. To limit the one, two, I could convert that into the enamine. What becomes problematic with the enamine? So there's the imine. The enamine puts in a double bond to an alpha carbon that has a hydrogen. What's the issue with this structure? There's two, There's two alpha carbons. Did I have two alpha carbons in the first one? The purple one? Yeah, but they're identical. Okay. This one, they're not. Which enamine is favored? Forming the left double bond or the right double bond? So we'll call it black or green. Unfortunately, our nitrogen does the black double bond. It does the less substituted. The nitrogen favors the kinetic. Okay. The issue there is there is a steric hindrance between that group and this group. That prevents the thermodynamic from happening. I would only get the kinetic. Why does that become a problem with that synthesis? It doesn't give me the nucleophile I wanted. It would give me the other nucleophile. I wouldn't get that product. The blue bond doesn't work. Kind of, sort of. Right. Retrosynthesis is hard. It's about trying to break it down and see where those connections come in. Okay. It takes time and it takes practice. And admittedly, I didn't even see it. I was just going to do a straight aldol reaction to it. And then Walid had to say beta. And I went, whoops, aldol didn't work. Okay. We had to do uh, a 1,4 addition. Sometimes answers become obvious, sometimes they aren't. Everybody sees things slightly differently. Okay? Practice with your retrosynthesis. Okay? Questions about that? Just making you feel better. The retrosynthesis at most will make up like 60% of the test. At most like one question. Like maybe 2%. So here's the quiz. I just want to give you a mild heart attack. Yeah.